Hello Malcolm, hello Sandy, hello everyone else. Welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles. I haven't been to the Kingdom for a couple or three days here. I just had a stressful couple of days around the place. So actually I have no idea what's going on. None. None. Zero. That looks like the latest save. So probably it's just going to hit us with something the second we load. That is its way. No, not the exact second we load. So... We obviously are a little low on citizens. We're very low on happiness. We're very low on gold. I'll just check those tax rates and see where we are. They're at three. Oh, come on. Give me the other treasure bunker. Yeah, I think the tax rates just automatically all set the same. Where is the other treasure house? I think it must be here. Come on. Oh, come on. No. Oh, yes. Yeah, they're all at three. We have three of them in. No, we have four of them in. I can't even detect them all. What if one of them's set at zero? Like, seriously, man. That's a library? That's a library doing that. No, that's not the square I wanted to hit. It's a little tricky hitting the right squares. But yeah, all four are set at three, so... That's what we got for gold, and it's all going to pay soldiers, a problem I did not anticipate or understand. Uh, what we should be doing is getting some exterior castle blocks put up to slow ogres. Um, I guess it probably isn't as good as a moat, but uh, it does slow them down. I don't know if there's much point there. We actually want them to land there. They'll get shrecked. But over here I can further protect with low walls just here and there because they get destroyed every time the ogres show. So I'll go ahead and really ham this stuff right in with them. Pop it all in. Try to protect the more important towers. I guess, oh, we'd have to clear trees. Alright, and those are forester's trees. Forester is currently shut down. Well, let's just call for those for the moment. Uh, gold is, like, gold is not really great. Uh, we don't have enough to cast a festival, even. I think we might be in a, no, we're not in an upward trend. I might have to throw down another treasure room. I've got too many soldiers, I'm guessing. Oh, uh, I guess that's what we're doing then. Since we can't keep gold up, we're going to have to just, oops, what just happened? What just happened? I have no idea what just happened. Uh, somehow I built a treasure room somewhere. I just built a treasure room on a treasure room. What? Okay, just remove that. That's obviously a bug. And we don't want to do it. So we're just going to get another one. Oh god, <laughs> pack it in there. Alright. Don't really have a choice. We don't have enough money. Look, see? No money to pay soldier. Soldier, no shoot. Not so good. So, that's fine. I think we better restart a quarry if we haven't. So looks, no, we got two going there. Got our iron mine going, which I think we need going. We have 143 armaments. That's a problem, because we don't have any soldiers. So, and we certainly can't pay any, so we're going to We've got two iron mines, we're going to shut this guy down. Right now. Closed. And we better check for blacksmiths. I don't know how you quite find them. Um, I think there is one around here somewhere. Or there was and it burned down. More like is what happened. I'm not seeing one. I've got to find our blacksmiths and make sure they aren't making armaments. Because, well, you know, I think think not, basically. Unless we want to make more stockpiles and just stockpile armaments. The devil's that. It's a forester. I'm way out of blacksmith territory. They'd be over here. They'd be over here. Um, sorry, I'm a little distracted today, i got to say. That's why I don't have time on to just not quite myself. So, yeah. Take armaments off. Close. Uh, see now... I have taken armaments off these blacksmiths before. 
That one's not on armaments. I swear I've taken armaments off them before. And they've just done that back to me. The devils. Whatever. Uh, I swear there's another one of them around now that I know what they look like. I'm gonna go looking. Uh, that isn't one, is it? No, that's a mason. We defs need that running. I like the internal town defenses, but they become less sensible as you run out of money for your soldiers, right? Bit of a problem. Food is wobbly, but not destroyed. What does that mean? Does that mean it wants food? Residents want neighbors, and... Dislike noise from blacksmith. That's too bad. Happiness is really bad right now, but it's not as bad as it could be. And yeah, food's gonna be okay, I'm not gonna worry. We just really need that treasure room, but I guess we don't have builders for it. No, three out of five. Three out of five. Three out of five ain't bad. We've really got an overload of wood and nothing to use it for, so Vikings invading. We'll go ahead and shut down that forester right now. Here they come. Let's see where they're coming from coming from over here, and did they bring ogres? They don't seem to have brought ogres, but it looks like they might be heading for a weaker section of the old town. And we are having trouble paying our soldiers in the most extreme possible sense. I uh, hope we get that built at some stage. Boy, oh boy. Alright, so here they come. Yeah, they didn't bring ogres. That's, I guess that's a good thing. It means they might set more fires, because I think ogres mean less vikings. So I suppose they might set more fires if they don't have ogres. That's not a good thing. And they're probably going to head right over here where we're totes defenseless. I'll close that forest or two. Because we are nuts on wood right now, so... Might as well free those hands up to do whatever else they can do. And we were trying to clear some land here to build a cottage. Oh, look, rubble. 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 Well, why don't we go ahead and just put another small stockpile right next to that one, then. And face it on that road. And then we've got space for a cottage over here. And they're going to burn some cottages, so why not start building one so they can burn it while we're building it, right? And I think that's covered by the local library. Yep. Which hopefully won't get burned. There's a well buried in the back of everything next to a stockpile. That was actually backwards. I should have made the well. You know. Okay, here they come. Here they come, here they come. There's lots. At least we have a little defenses over here. Those ballistae are making themselves felt. And we have less defenses over here. They are probably going to burn a bunch of stuff. Uh, that's not rubble, that's an inn. Well, it's going to be rubble in a minute. That end's going to be rubble in a minute. And we do have a little bit of light defenses over here, but they definitely went for the weak side of town, and they are going to torch it. But they got dinged a bit on their way over that first group, at least. And we do have some defense over here. It's not like we got nothing, but darn it, there goes the library. And libraries have to build up their, you know, good qualities over a long period of time. So, a bit disappointing. They'll never save it. It's going to be gone. Because every single group of Vikings that come through here is going to just light it on fire again. Well, they put out the darn forester. I suppose I could have demolished the forester. Uh, see, the internal town defenses aren't the worst thing in the universe. They're getting reduced as they come in here. Uh, they're Okay, forester and farm are down. Possibly more farms. I didn't see... I can go back and look, but I kind of want to watch what happens here, because there's an orchard. Because they're down to, like, a few Vikings by the time they reach this. Yeah, there goes one of their banners down, so... Our defenses are at least having some effect. Uh, we might want some defenses closer in this area, which is really burning. Someone died of old age during this. What a time to die. What a time to live. What a time it was. I don't see any banners getting back out of town. So that's kind of good. And there goes another banner down there. So I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Any more coming? No, it doesn't look like any more are coming. So we might have actually defended on them. Uh, there's still two banners here. There goes one. And that guy's hiking over into a dangerous area. How is he just passing through castle walls, right? 
Well, I think we took care of the Vikings for the most part. And Dragon. Incoming. And he's going to run into our perimeter defenses and probably shear off unless he takes a pretty lucky path because we're fierce on that. And those short range arrows do tag him a little. They do tag him a little enough to probably make him think. He's going to pause there over the water. Good spot to stop, but he's out of range of everything with the ballista. Now oh, we better check this city alert. Hmm. Ruined by winter hmm. harvest. Good day, good hmm. day. Okay. So we're going to need to rebuild some junk out here pretty quickly. Uh, let's just get that done. That's from an orchard. Yeah, that is a nice spot for an orchard. Didn't lose any castle blocks. That's rather nice, actually. Not to have lost that. That's farm rubble. Yeah, <laughs> look at these arrows flying everywhere. Oh, golly goshkins, and what's this rubble from? Cottage rubble. So we lost a cottage out here, did we? Interesting. Well, it was on rather fertile land, too. So, in fact, we might be smart to go ahead and demolish out this forester rubble. And then we'll move this well. I'll take it out. And we'll go ahead and put a new well back in here. And then we'll go and put a new cottage right in here. The only reason we're still at 600 beds is they've finished building the other one. So that's good. And then we'll get an orchard, because nice. There. And we'll throw a couple of farms back in over here. Bang bang, and even though we can't really afford it, we're going to put an additional archer tower here, and uh, think about even more armaments in here area, so, um, yeah, maybe just archer towers in this area might not be worth having ballista here, so let's go here, and that's all we can afford. So we just spent up all our stuff, we didn't spend all our wood, we spent all our gold. So we will open one forester for charcoal purposes. And hopefully we'll peg this dragon out. I don't know if we will. Half the soldiers aren't paid. Whoa, I went a little crazy on the mouse there. Still using my backup mouse. It's it's pretty horrible. Um, you know, no, no diss to it. It does its job. Ooh, down it comes. Let's see what it's going to kill. Did it kill a dude? No, nice. It just fell in the road. That's perfect. Well, that went well. That went well. And did we get our new treasury built? Just about. It's just finishing now, so that's good. Some have no access to a church or library. Really? It must be over here where we built the new cottage? No. Okay, let's grab that. Who is it? Who's suffering? Who's suffering? This cottage is the suffering cottage. Darn it. Okay. Well, we need a library over this way, so we're going to probably dump a farm. Uh, oh, what's this? Some rubble. Rubble! Ah, uh, it must have been a library. Okay. Uh, we can't quite afford a library because of gold, so... Okay, well, that'll be okay. Because we just got some gold in, which just all got spent. So as soon as we crest on 30... Oh, I better check that new... Not quite built yet, not quite built yet. Yeah, waiting for two stones, so... Okay. But if we can break 30... Yeah, we're going to grab out a library. And then, uh, I don't know, we might be able to reduce taxes in some way. So we'll put that there. And that's good. And it could use heavier defenses. Oh, look, it's an archer tower rubble. Indeed. So let's see if we can just afford one of those in a second. Not bloody likely. Not until they finish that. One peasant has died of starvation? Well, that doesn't seem appropriate. Hmm. Interesting. So there's some rubble. Uh, I think we'll put a castle block in it. Like that. A little extra buffer, and we'll do the same thing over here. Well, just for ogres to break, you know. 
and for potential future defenses. But so we had a peasant die of starvation. That's not really too kosher. Uh, we should probably figure out a way to improve that situation. Well, we do have a little bit of reproduction of food going on over here. That stuff will have no access to a bloody granary whatsoever. That's a bit annoying. Yeah, having food production over there is a bit annoying. There's no granaries anywhere bloody near it. Um, I don't know. These masons look like a place to make a hole, frankly. We've managed to build up a lot of tools, so or blacksmiths rather, so we'll just remove one of those guys. And we will jam a granary in here, just here. Whoop, whoop. Banks. It's across the bridge from the new farms. And in terms of defending that from Vikings, we can either castle it over to protect the library, yes, or do something else, no. So we're going to castle it over and lose that land. Protect there. And then we've got one square to build something on, which I'm guessing should be all like either more castling or a stockpile. Uh, I'll go with a stockpile right now because we just got to keep having room for stuff. Okay, and with that granary in, that helps, and we will try to get just a little squidge of food production crammed in. I kind of want to be able to put a hall of war in here, so like some of that food production is eventually probably coming out. So we're going to end up with some burnable um, food production out here for Vikings to burn. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and do that. We'll just jam in some farms here, so bap, bap. Bap, bap, like that. That should crank things up a little bit. And we got a pair. We got three granaries over here. So, oh, we do have a lot of food production too. Well, we'll see how that goes. See how that goes. And are they finished this yet? No, they aren't. Oh my God, five builders on it, and they don't have the stone. Well, what's that guy doing? Look okay, at he's running back and forth. Dude, what? Are you kidding me with the running back and forth, my man? Feeling ready. For what? Oh no. I think there may be a bug in him. Where's the other builders? Maybe he's just waiting. I'm trying to spot the other builders. Like, they must be bringing stone in for some somewhere. I think we may have a problem here, folks and peebles. Uh, not really sure. Plus two stone just came here. Look, there's stone right on the ground there. Probably need a stockpile in that region. Stone's pouring in. Waiting for two stone. Oh, oh. Oh, no. No, no, no. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, let's try shutting down this stonemason right here. There we are. Quarry, rather. We'll close that. And we'll see if that makes any difference to what Bunky Chuck does. No, I think we've got someone stuck who is not finishing the job. A reload might do it, but I think I might have to start the job over. Yeah. I have to start the job over. Glad I closed that quarry anyway. We're running out of space for stone. Okay, so we're just going to demolish that off. And then we're going to build it again. That's fun. Oh, maybe it's because he can't access it. Ah, uh, maybe the door wasn't facing the right way or something. Then how are they accessing that one? Oh, because the door's visible. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, bit of a problem. So hold on, is this one ever going to function then? Or have I got a dead treasure room back here, right? That's not what I'm clicking. I don't understand it. Worker's 5 out of 5, so... I don't see what's going wrong with that situation there. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. That's a bit of an annoyance, isn't it? So... Let's build one that's like freestanding over here with its door facing a bloody well. 
just add it to the castle compound like that and hope that gives them access because I think they can pass freely through wells. Now how big is the war hall anyway? Oops, wrong button. Barracks. Can't tell how big it is because we don't have remotely anything to build it with. Disaster. Well, that's annoying. Uh, looks like we've got our full population going again. Uh, I think I need to close a couple more quarries. Uh, here's this pair of them here, so we'll just now close down for the moment. Because we are pretty high on stone. Here. I'm going to just completely shut those down until we make a real dent in our stone. So we just don't have what it takes to do anything right now because of the gold crunch. Bit of a problem for us. Yeah, warriors not get paid. All kinds of bad antics. And I was thinking we could nail a little more food production into here. So, food seems to be up, however. So, mm, don't know about that. Uh, could use some more room to build some houses. I have to work on that too. I did take out a tool maker, so we'll have to watch our tools number, but I think we were absolutely good on that. Uh, I've shut down one of our iron mines. We're still got iron, I think. Uh, looking for space for housing. What do we got here? Just a big pile of rubble. Looks like it was an orchard, eh? Well, let's take it all out. And let's see how our money haul is getting along. Oh god, it's going to be a little while, isn't it? Oh, look, at least they're doing it. I hope they don't get hung in a loop again, eh? Yeah, stone's just continuing to go up. Maybe that was a problem, too much of a good thing, maybe? Without that money haul, we're not getting anywhere here. We need more population, that'll give us hmm. more money. Took too long to store the bloody harvest. I know it's awful, isn't it? Can I do some rock removal around here? No. It's 30 gold. Arr, matey. And yeah, okay. Well, yeah, with more population, we'd score a bit more gold. Food's really iffy. Let's go over where that food production was and put some food production in. Right now, bang an orchard in right there. I think that's kind of going to be a little bit of a good idea. And out back here, we seem to have an empty space. Not sure what to do with that. Charcoal's holding. It's like even, so that's fine. Cause that, oh, and I took out a blacksmith. That's what charcoal's holding now. Okay, so I haven't found anywhere to build a house, and food's really in a crap, basically, but we did put in some additional food production. However, I'm thinking we need to clear a little trees back here, um, get a uh, granary in or something, I don't know. Get a granary in, get this area able to store food, because there's a tavern here burning food as well, so... Those are both bits of good land. Uh, actually, and you know what? Those are also, like, primarily the forester's bloody land. How oh, how disappointing is that? What can I do? How about knocking some of this down? I think it'll do. It's a little less fertile. No, it's just as bloody good. So it'll be so tempting to farm it instead of granarying it. Is there some barren that I could switch to here? Nah, it's good, it's good, we're doing it. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. I think that thing does mean they want food. I think that means they do want food. Don't really know. They enjoy the beach. Oh, that's kind of cool, isn't it? That's really neat. I didn't know they could enjoy a beach. Uh, we're just going to pop in a pair of farms here before I get tempted to use the land up. And then we're going to need to bang a granary in there. Dear, dear, dear. I wish they'd hurry up with them treesies. This is dreadful. I'm taking out our last forests, eh? Frickin' dreadful. 
Frickin' dreadful. I don't think it'll kill our wood output or anything. Our wood output's been awfully good, so... Not gonna stress, but I am putting a granary there, which is, like, kind of undefended against fire, and... Basically not perfect. We did get another archer tower into the area. They're kind of a little oddly placed, like, they're defending the coast more than they should be defending, uh... You know, they should be defending the town more. Thank you. There it goes. I must have clicked it wrong before. So, yeah, that's just ogre deflection there. That's nothing. Can we slip some castle in? I don't know. It's a thought. We could slip another defense unit in. If we find a barren spot here. Like this, this one, this one. Barren, but we're not allowed to chop it. It's in forester use. So, yeah, a bit of an issue there. So defenses are a bit insufficient over here. Maybe what we should do is just build a defensive emplacement over here. It's going to be hell for them to build, because they'll have to walk so far, but... I don't think they require provisions when they man it or anything, so... Why don't we go ahead and build up a little defensive emplacement over here with a couple of commanding towers or whatever on it. Maybe even like that. Like that. Give this thing some real range. Call this our external super defense and give it some ogre defense blocks as well so it doesn't get smashed by an ogre too easily. Alright, that's looking entertaining. And, uh, yeah, I think that's looking pretty entertaining. That's also a ridiculous build project at a stupid range from town for them, so... It's gonna make them really unhappy. Yes, it is. Oh, they got that raised quick, plus 200 food storage. Does that mean my treasure hall's up? Oh god, it is. Oh, what a relief. And... Cling tax rate 3, so it automatically equates all tax rates. That's good news. That's good news. And food is low. Food is low. What? Well, looks like the crops just came banging in, so thank gracious for that. We've got bits of barren land everywhere that we can build a rate on. That's a good thing. We should protect our gate more. I don't know. Hey, this went okay so far, you know? I'm been having a bit of a stressed out couple of days. I'm surprised by how well this episode went, to be honest with you. Uh, we still can't pay all the bloody soldiers, which means our libraries probably aren't getting paid yet. There we go. Libraries not getting paid. That sucks. Hey, did we put a new library in over here? We did. Great. Yay. That's a relief. Could sure use more defensive power over here, couldn't we? We don't have the gold for this we need is, I guess, more housing. Food is stable enough to apply slight more housings. Where? Good question. Well, well, well. Where do you put the houses when the town's all full up like this, eh? Hmm. Could knock out a couple of farms along this road. Pretty convenient spot. I think it's in church and library coverage. Let's hit the church. Oh, it's just on the very edge of it. It's good land, which is a shame to take any good land that's inside here, so... We could take this guy out. Demolish that, and then we can go road. Oh, uh, there's no point to putting the road in there, is there? Or is there? I'm gonna go ahead and go road to here and then we're gonna stick a spare bloody well in there and then we're gonna put a cottage here with proper access to this road and then we're going to put a shabby hovel um, we're going to put a shabby hovel behind the well with no road access next to charcoal maker just to bring the whole town down. No, maybe I won't do that. Oh, and they're gonna hate the charcoal maker there too, so actually... Why don't I knock these two industrial characters out? What have we got here? 
Oh, that's also interesting. Yeah, I, I almost feel like I could do something here, so... I'm going to remove these two charcoal makers right now. And I'm going to remove that well. I'm going to get that road. I know this is a bit of a waste, but... And then I'm going to get another cottage. Banging it at the end of the road there. And then I'm going to get another well and put it here. No, there's no room. That actually takes up four. So they're going to hate having the mason for a neighbor, which sucks for them. And they're going to hate having the... Oh, these guys are... Yeah, they're living in the industrial sector of town for sure, eh? So that's too bad for them. They have access to a tavern, a church, a library, everything. So they'll be okay. But they are going to bring our happiness down. But we need the housing pretty bad. We need to tax those folks. So good thing I didn't make it a hovel. Basically. Good thing I didn't make it a hovel. So we need two charcoal burners and some other stuff that we just broke. Uh -huh. Yeah. Any barren land anywhere? Hey, how about that rock removal project? Still going on. Still going on. Um, charcoal burners can really go anywhere, so... We've got a stockpile pretty close to here. So it wouldn't be dumb to put... Yeah, we got a stockpile close to there, and there is wood in it. So it wouldn't be dumb to put a charcoal burner out here. Except they're probably expensive to replace or something. Let's take a look. No, they're cheap. Charcoal burners are pretty cheap, so we're going to go ahead and use some bits of barren land out here to do the job. You know, keep the pollution over at the seaside. Can't put it there. No road. Keep the pollution over at the seaside from that, and we just got one of the ones slip in it. I'm not thinking that distributing them is a bad idea either. I'm thinking concentrating them was a worse idea because... Uh, they actually need to deliver charcoal all over town, right? So the fact that this is near a stockpile makes it worthwhile. We'll do rock removal and improve it later, but for now they can just work like that. And get those going. And yeah, I think that's about all we can do. We've got a baron in here that we could put some in-town laser defenses in maybe. We'll work on that another time. Gold is improved. We're still getting unpaidnesses. Okay. Hmm. Took too long to store the harvest. Some ruined by winter. Okay, so... More ag risk storage desired, right? And where's going to be the worst offending zone, right? That's a good question. But we could jam an agri storage unit in here with the loss of only one farm. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I think we will gain a little... It, you know, that has no road access. Looks like we're doing it this way. <laughs> and in fact, yeah. Well, that well really... See, now it's on the better land now. Darn it. So we are going to go ahead and take it out. Now we're making a mess of the place, right? We're going to grab this granary. Uh, roll it around. Put it there so it has road access. And then we will get a farm going there because we can. And we'll just stick that well in the middle of everything because it fits. And that's that dealt with. Now we don't have enough gold to try on a Chamber of War, but I'm wondering, I'm thinking it's probably six dots and not four, and I'm going to have to make a great big hole in food production. City. Ah, uh, they're unhappy and hungry. Um, happiness is pretty bad. Do we dare blow a festival off? I mean, we have no bloody money, right? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, festival begin. Well, let's hope it helps. Let's hope it helps. We're taxing them as hard as we bloody can, and we're putting up a little more housing, so that's good. Do you have Vikings any minute, obviously? Half the place is shut down for lack of money because of the festival. Most disappointing. So, yeah. And I'm wondering if one of my money halls doesn't actually work because it's non-accessible. It's kind of an interesting question. 
there. I think I might have made a mistake with actually two of them. They're kind of a mess, the money hall, so... 54 peasants have died of plague? What? We got two hospitals. How did that happen? Does this hospital have no road access? Yeah, it has no road access. We got a rock demolition project. What? Complete removal? Oh. Oh, you have to click it. I thought it would just do it. Oh, okay. Well, then we're putting a road to the bloody hospital. Oh my god, eh? There we go. Nice. Alright. And that enables us to build a bit in here, too, so... We can... Okay, so what do we got? We got a fertile one, but the rest is barren, right? So what we can do with this is grab a bit of roadway. Throw it on here, grab a cottage. They're deeply unhappy and we'll riot soon. Really? Guys, you gotta chill on me here. And we'll get a farm in here. Like, seriously, guys, you gotta chill on me here. You gotta not riot right now. Happiness, 26, oh my god. Mm. I'm trying to make sure they're fed. I thought I was doing okay with food production, but obviously not so much. Obviously not so much, eh? Oh, and of course they're building this massive fantasy for me over here, which is probably really wrecking everything. And it's just going to get destroyed. We can't even pay for armaments on it, so... We can't even pay for armaments on it, frankly. That's interesting. That's interesting. Happiness is 16. Maybe I should just forget about some of this. You know, I'm not going to wreck what they've finished, but... I'm not going to wreck what they've finished, but I'll take everything else back out. And let them not bother with that. Oh yeah, that's... Just take it all out. Free those hands up. Let's go work in town and close down one more quarry if we can find one that's open. Here we go, because we got way too much stone. Way too much stone, and we can afford a festival, so let the festival begin immediately. As we're in a pretty bad shape, Pio and the bloody Vikings will show up anytime, eh? Okay, well that sucks. Aha! Uh -huh. Sad old me, eh? Um, food is really wobbly. Really wobbly. I don't know how we're ever going to fit a Ministry of War any bloody way, but... That's okay, we'll figure it all out. We'll try to farm some of this back land here. Something like that. It's pretty scary. Getting pretty scary, man. I think this gate's pretty useless. It's cool, though. Put it in the wrong place. Okay, gold is a permanent disaster because of too many soldiers. I could close out an archer tower or two, I guess, but they're what keep the Vikings from shrecking us completely. And we really need them all over the place, basically, so. And we're not able to make any money. Dang, man, we're not not making any money. Oh. Still, we were able to build up a little for a second there, so maybe we can make some money. Maybe we can make some money. And we filled up our beds because people came for the festival anyways. Oh dear. We're going to have to create yet another hall of taxing. Shoot. 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 We're going to have to create yet another hall of taxing. Oh wait, it's it's moving upwards. Let's leave it alone. Let's leave it alone. If we can manage to pay our bills for a little while. Hey look, a granary went up. Good stuff. Hopefully they'll manage to get food into it. If we can pay our bills, then we'll see what we can do. Maybe I shouldn't have erected any new archer towers. Maybe I should subtract one over here just to give us that critical edge back. Still, this is the area of town that's weakest, so 
guess what we ought to do is look around and see what Archer Towers look like. They might really not be a hundred percent necessary, and I'm not really seeing any that fall into that category. Um, they actually all seem like a bloody good idea, and I'd like more. Uh, um, so not much I can do about that. But yeah, we're not doing well here. Happiness is up. Okay, hmm. harvest run by winter. I got you. We'll work on that. But yeah, happiness is up. Uh, charcoal isn't up. Is there a bit of barren land somewhere I can jam a charcoal maker onto? I don't know. We have way too much wooden stone. It's madness. Um, I might just close this forester down. Close him down, and I'm gonna go looking for any more quarries, because we just can't advance right now. I mean, I could build castle blocks, I guess. Actually, yeah, maybe I'll reopen that quarry or, or forester there. and Think about just building massive castle blocks. I'll reopen him. Just think about building castle blocks. Because what else can I actually do right now? Really nothing. So I can just start wedging off defensive areas, basically. Yeah, see, that needs protection big time. Fertile land, whatever. It needs protection big time. We're just going to fill this all in, is what we're going to do. Make it harder for the jerks to get to our critical defensive emplacements. Now, there are no critical defensive emplacements on that one. These don't cost any gold, do they? I sure bloody hope not. Yeah, we don't want them landing there. It's weak. Yeah, let's start blocking them. So they have to bring ogres. We'll just completely... We've got nothing else we can do. We have no money to do anything, so... We'll just start completely bricking in the exterior. There, we've used up all our stone. I'll go open a quarry. Perfect. That'll provide employment for four board citizens. Open that up. Because the masons need stone too, actually, so I better not have zero stone coming in. That's great. It sure didn't use up the bloody wood. Uh, I think I will shut down a forester after all. I mean, we need the wood for charcoal. Charcoal's holding. Not everybody has access to it, mind you. And gold has actually built up a little, so we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay with the taxes. We're still getting people not paid, even though gold's building up. That's interesting. No, no, thank you. I don't want to demolish my road. No one manning this tower need more workers. Oh, it's not money, it's staff. Right, nice, perfect. Just bloody perfect. And I do need that stone to come back up. Uh, okay, so more housing is the only solution to more workers, so... We're entering a loop of needing more housing now, eh? I guess this is where you start to build the manors for more efficiency of citizenry of housing. <laughs> Just looking for stuff I can rip out that's sensible, but we're barely making enough food as it is. Oh, we could slam another charcoal burner in back here for sure. Let's do it. Bam. Perfect. That's a really silly spot for a well, but I guess it'll do. Uh, yeah, housing, 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 housing. Boy. Not too sure. I still want to keep a bit of castle area kind of reserved, you know, a little bit. Good, the doctors are functioning now. That was a downer. I'm not going to do any rock removal because it's 30 gold a pop. Our stockpiles are packed with bloody armaments. At least I put a stop to that. And... We did gain a few citizens, so that's good. Happiness is up quite well, so our basic happiness arrangements aren't bad. And do we have any unmanned towers? It doesn't look like we have any unmanned towers. And gold is really wobbly. Food is good. Food is strong. 
So we're just going to have to let gold build up a lot before we invest in anything, basically. Oh, and of course, I've made a lot of castle block builds, so that's absorbing workers that are needed on the gun towers, too. And we're going to go ahead, and we're not getting stone in fast enough to build castle blocks, so I guess we have a quarry manning issue, but we're going to go and open this other quarry anyway. Just pop it open. Let them staff it as they can, and we'll check this castle alert here. Hmm. Store our harvester mm -hmm. by winter, and nobody likes it here. Oh, their happiness went down. Unfortunate. Well, sounds like someone is here. So I'm going to have to terminate the episode right here, folks. Hope you had fun wandering the kingdom with me today. And we will catch you all soon for the next episode. So until that time, bye for now.